Hi to Chaco. It's uh, Team Yellow, which is so green, against uh, Team Red, which is Cash and Happy. Of course, Serene's ally here is Lord Lyot. He's Night Elf. He's going Demon Hunter. And Serene, he is going Blade Master. We have Happy. He's going Late Death Knight, Early Fiends. And we have a Blade Master here for Mr. Cash. Yeah, Chaco, I'm glad you have a face. <laughs> Whoever wins it gets to buy Chaco a present. Yeah, that would be amazing. It would be hard to cast without a face. Yeah. Well, Cash Cash will lose this. Oh, we'll see. There's a Blade Master. Blade Master is about to hit the the servers of this map, of course. Here in a moment. He's just gonna be here in a moment. There. There he is. Move over here. The Demon Hunter is gonna creep this. Blade Master, what is he going to do? Because we all know this Blade Master wants to hit this uh, golem and kill it. He's gonna be there in time. He doesn't use a speed scroll, he just. Nah. Even with the speed scroll, I don't think he could have made it in time. And the Demon Hunter does pick up a uh, Wand of Mana Stealing. Wand of Mana Stealing Wand. No, Wand of Mana Stealing. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it's not double want there. Use the use the dust. The blade master has been spotted. He did get that ogre, so he has 48 XP. Wisp goes into the tree. Ancient war is gonna eat a tree, and the blade master takes some damage from the blade master. Meanwhile, the death knight is just gonna creep a little bit, and Arashi Cage is retreating. Arashi Cage, of course, for cash, and for Sabine we have Akinos. Akinos against Arashi Cage, and uh, there goes another creep. These other creeps also gonna die. Is Cash War Chief? No. The Blade Master is hiding. He's. What is he going to do? He's going for the Forest of Shadow Priest. What a nice play there. He cannot be mana. Well, he can be mana burned for 12, but sure. Uh, not a great mana burn. Is this guy dead? He's so dead he dies. Blade Master just kills him. Now he's going for this Archer. Archer might go around as well. Blade Master lets her go. Meanwhile here we have a blade mass here for Zawin and a grunt creeping, killing a null warden. <laughs> oh the ancient war is eating his way to this creep camp, but is it gonna be too late? Oh the creeps are <laughs> attacking the ancient war. So uh that's nice. Two attacks on the ancient war there. Well they're happy he's creeping this. Meanwhile, the blade master is fighting against a blade master and a demon hunter. That's that's a tough fight, guys. Fighting against both the Demon Hunter and the Blade Master is a bit too much. Akino is gonna back, uh, go back home, heal a bit, sell his Wand of Mana Stealing. Blade Master is running so fast. Three fiends now. Three fiends were happy. Oh, level two Demon Hunter. It means a lot of guys are gonna miss. The Blade Master didn't heal up. Because he hasn't gone back to the shop yet. The Blade Master now also level 2. Death Knight level 2 and a half. But the Fiends, they walk so fast with that Unholy Aura. It's just insane how fast they walk. And we have some grunts here for Fiend is there. Everyone is attacking, right? Let's just make sure. There's a Hunter's Hole. Yeah, everyone attacked to tier 2. Grunt here finds a grunt. Uh, the demon hunter finds a grunt. He cannot win the fight. Meanwhile, over here, the blade master creeping some gnolls. These gnolls are taking a lot of damage. This one is dead. The other one dies at exactly the same time. Both gnolls die. And now this gnoll overseer is taking a lot of damage. Demon hunter is gonna help a little bit. Oh no, he's gonna. What did he just do? Not sure what he just did, but. Oh, he got a healing saw from the blade master. That makes sense. That makes sense. What is this? Naga. Naga second here for Loliath. And he's gonna do some uh, pressuring here. Happy. Oh, nice. Top of XP. Blade Master picks it up. The Death Knight. If the Death Knight picked it up, he would be level 3. But the Blade Master was too greedy. And uh, Coil there. Level 1 Coil on the Fiend. Blade Master is getting out of this fight. Oh, but this Fiend didn't get the speed score. One Fiend dead. The other Fiend is also dead. Two dead. Never mind. He's still alive. But for how much longer? Actually, it's still alive for quite a bit longer. But can it survive? No, it does go down. Two dead fiends. That's a lot of dead fiends. And now they're gonna defend with only two fiends. 
should be able to defend easy peasy. It's not that like this uh, yellow army of Lolita Serene is so huge and big and powerful. We have a little piggy here. This piggy here is gonna be just fine for now. And he TPs out. There's an archer. Oh, she dies. And we have uh, Serene. He retreats. Easy peasy. Nice. So, in against the uh, cash, you know, and happy. Cash is getting the war mill, and you know some raiders. Same here, raiders. Then the Kodo, the Kodo. Oh, no raiders at all here for uh, Sawin. This Kodo, maybe he should be rallied. Rallies him now. Kodo is no raiders. What about Lolite? Is he going to use of the Dryad? Yes, he's going to Dryad. Makes a lot of sense. Triple Ancient of Lord Dryads. Right? Why does it make sense? Well, I didn't see Raiders, so... It had to be Dryads. Else there's just no... Nothing to stop units. We saw the Hunter's Hall already earlier as well, so it makes super duper much sense. Here we have... Uh, Happy is going to Black Citadel. Always makes sense. As you, if you see in that, you see Black Citadel. Especially if there's only one in that, like if you if you have two in that, maybe not always. Blade Master here is going for this rock column. This rock column is going down. Tome of XP again. So many Tome of XPs here for cash. Puts a quad to last. Also a super item here. Gives it to the Blade Master. Blade Master is still in level three, but you know he will be soon. And Shed Hunter as well. But what is there to creep? What is there left to creep for uh, cash? He wants his. Uh, he wants one more creep camp. To get these hero levels that he wants, that he needs. <laughs> but uh, this has mostly been crapped already. I don't think that's enough for level 3 Shadow Hunter. This Shadow Hunter, Zulkis, is also only level 2.5, but there's still this little creep camp that he can creep. That will be enough for level 3. Close of attack, plus 9. Okay, that's a nice item. Uh, Blade Mass. Oh, he's just gonna creep Dryad. Instead of creeping units, that's so smart. Because if you kill Dryad, it also means your opponent loses your unit. There, uh, there's a mana burn on the Shadow Hunter. 50 only. Does he have level 1 mana burn? And level 2 evasion? Anyway, these units are uh, being killed. This, oh, he survives 27. There's another 50 mana mana burn. This Demon Hunter definitely does have only level 1 mana burn. And uh, the Dryad, this Dryad is surrounded. She's going to die. This Grunt here takes a bit of damage. Dies for Lightning. And here, uh, Sawin shows up. So, TP out here by Cash, but he has the level 3 heroes that he needs. And Happy has a level 2 Lich. Level 3 Death Knight, level 3 and half Death Knight. Here we have a level 2 Naga, level 3 Demon Hunter, almost level 3 Naga. And the Shadow Hunter is also almost level 3. Blade Master level 3. They kind of want to level up these two heroes, or mostly the Shadow Hunter, I guess. This isn't enough for to get them both level 3. So, the Shadow Hunter is the most important hero to get level 3. And he gets that level 3. Two Kodos are beautiful. Does he still not have a single Raider? I don't see a single Raider. He just... Grunt, Kodos. That's all he does. Grunts and Kodos and the upgrades. So the Grunts are already 0 and 1. Here the Grunts are 0 and 0. He's not getting any upgrades here. What about Happy? Happy is TPing in. He doesn't have upgrades either. Does he have the Orb? He does have the Orb and he has the Crypt Lord as well. So let's uh, see this beautiful fight. Nice impel. I think that should be easy game for Happy, of course, with the Fiends and Tier 3 against Dryads. I mean, uh, all other things being pretty equal. And we have the defensive position as well here for Team Cash with the, the shop. A Frost Armor on the Blade Master means he's super powerful. But there's a Dispel on the Frost Armor. That's, that's not fair. Boots of Quatalas will help a lot. But he's out of mana. But another Frost Armor saves him for now. And um, these Raiders kind of in the way of the Blade Master. They should be microed. They don't do any damage anyway. They just take damage. Now, uh, it seems like most of Cash's army has fallen, but it doesn't matter. Happy has everything. He still has, has everything. Let's look at the splice for a moment. Uh, hard to compare. It is a bit actually uh, up in supply for low light, but that's because he has so many drives. Shadow Hunter did go down while we, was look we were looking at the splice there. Dakota went down. The Blade Master goes down. And uh, the Demon Hunter doesn't have a DP. Neither does the Naga. So uh, that's GG, guys. GG. Uh, what do we see here? It's gonna be TT. No, Blade Master for Sawin. What about here? We have a Blade Master for Cash as well. No TC, guys. No TC. They are roommates. That's uh, what I, why, what I thought. 
How else could I have exactly the same ping? Into the war here for Lolliet. Oh, he cancels the Blade Master, goes for TC. TC is going to be late though to deal with that uh, Into the War. There's a Grunt, double Burrow. This Burrow will uh, help, of course, the Keeper here for Lolliet. So, Lo Keeper, Blade Master, like everyone did before against Happy and uh, Cash. And here they have Death Knight, TC. Perfect. This TC is going to be out soon. Look there at Blade. <laughs> Blade in my chat. Hey, hey, calm down. I just want to open the game. Welcome, Blade. This TC is gonna be out here in a moment. Okay, TC and a grunt. We're gonna right click this Ancient of War. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, never mind. No right clicking just yet on, on Ancient of Wars. He's getting more grunts. Launches up. Look at this Ancient of War just sitting down here. Meanwhile, the Blade Master here killing some innocent uh, creeps. Keeper. Just saying hello. Hello, TC. Of course, Happy's gonna creep over here with this Death Knight, some fiends. Okay, what a beautiful start of this game. This Ancient of War hits a peon. That's a lot of damage. Look at the peon. 179 hit points left. He's gonna eat the tree, but now the grunts show up and they're attacking the Ancient of War. He's, he's panicking. He's uh, eating a tree. He's eating more trees. There he eats another tree. He's running for his life. And here comes the Keeper. We'll see an Entangle soon. There's an Entangle on this Grunt. And everyone right clicking the Grunt. The Keeper right clicks the Grunt. The Ancient of the War right clicks the Grunt. Eats a tree. Then it right clicks the Grunt again. Meanwhile, the Blade Master is finished creeping over there. Death Knight creeping still here. We have an expansion going up here for Lolliet, of course. Such a beautiful expansion. One Grunt is dead already. I just looked away for a second and he's dead. Next one gets Entangled. The Ancient of War is eating more trees. And he does go down. The Ancient of War is down. This Grunt is going to survive easy peasy, of course. A, a nice block here. Can he get the kill? No. Keeper gets out. And we have a skeleton scouting. He will see the Tree of Life of Loliot. We've got the Blade Master and the Grunt just killing a Shadow Priest. Oh, actually, the Grunt is going for the Berserker. Look at this skeleton. He found this Tree of Life. And he tells Happy. He tells his Death Knight. He tells, he sends a letter, a pigeon, sends a pigeon to Lord Night Sorrow. I found a tree of life still in his infant stage. Please. Or, well, he's not gonna ask anything. That's all he said. That was his report. I mean, the Death Knight then uh, reads the report and he's like, okay, right click. And that's what he does. Nice right click on this tree of life. It's gonna be cancelled with the Blade Master in the center, with the Keeper and uh, one Hunters. Creeping this and there's one grunt as well, but what is the TC doing here? The TC scouting this. The TC scout. Okay, kills another no. Ah, ah. Blade Master going for this no poacher. Oh, is he stuck? Oh, the TC is surrounded. There. Oh, the Blade Master is still alive. He has been dusted. He almost, uh, he almost died. He took a lot of damage. There's a healing staff. Team uh, Blue, the Light, and Sawin. They do retreat. This this grunt is in trouble. Look, he's surrounded by the creeps. <laughs> he attacks the creeps, wakes them up. Help! No, they kill him. This, oh, this other grunt also surrounded. Two dead grunts here for Team Sawin. That's so bad. So this wisp cannot build an expansion because there's another skeleton scouting. These skeletons scouting so well. So nice there by Happy, of course. Ogma, the keeper, finds a grunt, but he cannot kill it because, you know. There's too much here. Too many fiends, too many grunts. What's Team So Uin going to do to come back in this game? More Huntresses. Double Bestiary. Oh, expansion here for Loliath. And of course, Cash is still at tier 1. Anyway, what item did they get? Or did they get the item? Sawin stole the item, the Ankh for Sawin. I just kind of expected that not to happen. Uh, the stop was missed the Blade Master, but he didn't get the uh, the item at least. Maybe he got the XP. But there's a potion of uh, mana on the Death Knight. <coughs> Some Huntresses. Oh, they find a Grunt. Easy kill. Hey, oh, no mana. No mana on the Keeper because he used to entangle on this Grunt earlier. 
He's trying to hunt down the grunt. Maybe peons around on the keeper would be nice to keep the grunt alive. Oh, he kills the grunt himself with the the burrow. I guess he was micro or something somewhere else, so he didn't have the micro to uh, surround the keeper. The keeper is still alive, easy peasy. It's only level one coil. If he just had a bit more XP, like two coils, and the keeper would be dead. But level one coil, it's uh, not that much damage. So we just go for the main here of Happy. Just right clicking. Does he have? Does he have pillage? Yes, right. Yeah, he has pillage. Easy peasy. So much money here for Serene. Just right clicking this uh, main building. This uh, Blade Master. Is he just gonna let him die and use the Ankh? Oh, Lich does Nova dead. Okay, well, he has the Ankh, so he will be back. It's, uh, okay, nice player by Serene. There's a coil on the Raider Speed Scroll out here. This Grunt missed the Speed Scroll, and this Raider died. We have an attack here of Cash on the main. And there, another Grunt dead. Death Knight is level 3, and now he will scout this base. I'm not sure if he scouted it already. But he will for sure uh, see it right now. Nice stomp here, but it's still level one. The one stomp is not that super powerful. Oh, does he? A player's force guess is he? Under attack. Guess he sees it now. But you know, <laughs> he's uh, he realizes he needs to do something. But the TP out for cash, and now he's going to kill this tree of life. Let's see if we uh, see a right click here on this tree of life. Yes, a nice right click here. By uh, happy on this tree of life, and can they defend it? We see mass raiders. As you guys can tell, wait, wait, where? One bestiary got killed. Mass raiders, base race. They probably know about the game of bizarre and Sonic against Cash and Happy. So they just do the same shit. If bizarre and Sonic can do, uh, do it. Of course, Lolita and Serene can do the same. Easy peasy. This grunt is so dead. Oh, ah. The tree of life is also so dead. Phew, phew. Does Happy have a TP? Because he might have the TP here in a moment to his allies' base. He does have a TP. Nice and snare. And there's Happy TPing in. Of course, they can easily win this fight. We see a retreat. So in and, uh, you know, at low light. Better get out of here. Blade Master gets some nukes. He's still alive. It's peaceful. Tangled there on the TC. Um, and a split. Nice split. Three different ways. Blade Master going to the center. Shell Hunter to the bottom. And the Keeper to the top. And he's gonna fight against some uh, grunts. Let's see if he can win this fight. I think he can. Usually Hunters just beat grunts if there's no, uh, no raiders. If there's no super powerful heroes. They can uh, change the tide. The TC is still just level 2, but nice around there on the Huntress. Here come the Raiders, what are they doing? There's some ensnares. Oh no, this Raider! Easy kill! Raider on uh, Coil on that Raider kills that Raider. Shell Hunter in a bit of trouble, he has a TP. He does TP out. This Raider is still dead. Okay, never mind. Uh, Huntresses are fighting. Uh, there's still a lot of Grunts though. Huntresses do need to be microed, else they will lose if to the Grunts that are outnumbered them. I mean, eight grunts against five huntresses. TC took a lot of damage, though. Uh, he survived 70 hit points. Wow, nice. This hunter has eight hit points. There goes a grunt. We have a level two keeper now. You can see also got more mana. Kills another grunt. Oh, TC. Uh, I think the TC attacked too late. But I'm not sure. Maybe the hunters just didn't do enough damage to kill it. The Shade is going to scout this expansion. Team Happy realizes, hey, we lost against the base race bullshit before. Let's build some Shades to counter it. Let's build Raiders to counter it. Very nice play by Happy and Cash. They don't want to lose to the same shit twice, so... So they don't. Keeper and some Huntresses here creeping. We have a shade over here. Shakazan level what, 1. Joshua almost level 3. Death Knight level 3. Lich level 1. 
Cash is uh, TC is still not level 3, but he's gonna uh, creep this now. But if he creeps this, guess who's gonna build an expansion here? It's gonna be Lil Lyot. It's not gonna be uh, Cash. Well, maybe at first it's gonna be Cash, but then it's gonna be cancelled. And then Lil Lyot is gonna build an expansion there. This tree, this shade being so annoying. Blocking this tree of life, of course. As a shade is supposed to. But. Oh! Bad timing, or maybe the shade saw. Yeah, the shade, of course, knew exactly where Sylvian was. So, uh, not just bad timing, it's just, you know, happy taking uh, good care, happy micro, uh, happy scouting exactly where Sylvian is. Keeper is creeping over here. Oh, he did get down the tree of life, probably because he was distracted here by Sylvian. Maybe this is what Sylvian was doing. This was just a distraction, so this tree of life could sit down. Nice distraction there by Suin. Four bases. Against the two bases, one going up. It's an orc base. Takes some time to go up. Here come the hunters. This is gonna be cancelled for sure. Easy peasy. There's no TP, by the way, on this keeper. Interesting choice. The Shadow Hunter, he does have a TP. He might have to use it. No, not yet. He's he's fine, guys. Nice dust. He, he doesn't like the shades. Oh, the radar does go down. We have a baby seal Lord Night Sorrow. And look at oh the peon died. He picks up the tome. Lolliot picks up the tome. Tome of strength. He finds a grunt here as well to kill. Does he have level two entangle roots? Yes. Yes. Two rings of protection. We have towers here, defending towers for cash. What a beautiful player by cash. Doesn't want to lose to base race shenanigans. He is also getting raiders. As expected. There's another reveal. He sees the shade. Oh, can he kill the shade? Oh the shade is so dead! Oh, and these hunters they have to be careful they're being sandwiched by uh, by Happy's army and the TC and the keeper does he have the TP now? no he still doesn't have a TP of course he didn't have a chance to buy one in between uh, between now and when I you know asked the keeper is dead guys these hunters are still alive there's no altar on, uh, no tavern on this map but the raiders what can they do? Oh, what is he doing? I think right clicking this uh, is gonna work, but maybe I'm wrong. There's uh, no, the raiders die so fast. Hello, it's down to two raiders. Well, three raiders if you count this one, uh, but that one died. So, two raiders. This one is dead. This one's one raider. He's not gonna get it. Oh no, there's one more raider. I missed this one raider, but that's still he didn't get it. He lost so many raiders, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see seven bodies. That means uh, he lost seven raiders. Let's look at the supplies now. Um, team Serene, a 95 supply. Team Happy, 105. 105. This Hunter is dead. Ah, TC level 4. These Angels are worse for defense here for Loliot. Keeper, when are, when are you coming back? Keeper is coming back in a while. The light tech to Tree of Ages. Uh, he doesn't have the defenses, reinforced defenses yet. Did go to a fortress, but these towers are gonna be cancelled easy peasy. Burrows are dying here to the destroyers. They do magic damage. So you uh, focus the burrows with the destroyers. The fiends are going for the building towers, but he doesn't care about this building tower anymore. Although it's kind of blocking his fiends. Okay, never mind. There's cancel anyway. Uh, the buildings are all falling. Me will have attack over here. So we can go for the counter attack. How many raiders does he have? Four. I count four raiders only. It's gonna take some time to kill this main with four raiders. There's an uh, frost worm even. And this looks like an easy game for Team Cash and Happy at this point. This expansion is going back up. Uh, does he have TP? He does TP out. He lost like a lot of burrows. He saved two burrows. Uh, he lost a blade master. Sure. He lost another few raiders. And one raider at least. And what do we have here? This four dead huntresses already. No, th sorry. Three dead huntresses and one dead raider and dead grunt. Here comes a keeper. Tangle on the one raider. Okay, maybe Lolite can. Oh, this wand of the wind is so uh, nice. Does the keeper have a way to save himself? I doubt it. No, he's dead again. Keepers, they just keep dying. <laughs> they keep dying <laughs> over and over again. It was the same against Sonic. And bizarre, the keeper kept dying. So of course the keeper's dead again. Do we see another keeper? Hey, another keeper. Same keeper, but he's gonna be revived. We have uh, six hunters just doing buying a bit more time. 
Shadow Hunter with three raiders. That's what Sowin has. But still, they have a lot of income still. They still have these uh, four bases. Even though Team Happy and Cash have been looking pretty dominant for the, like the last five minutes, they still haven't been able to kill one of these bases. Going for the Ancient of War now. We have Destroyers and Frostworms here on the top side. While the Death Knight and the Lich and the Fiends are hunting down these raiders. Because another Huntress. Nice and snare. Means another Huntress is dead. Ancient of Wonders is almost up. Keeper is beautiful. What do we see here? Ancient of Lore, Ancient of Lore, Ancient of Lore. Speed goal. Oh, Shadow Hunter took so much damage from the coil. Level 2 coil. He heals himself. His expansion is finally up. But to be honest, Team Serene, they cannot even deal with one of these halves of these armies. Not to mention both of them. They have, they have nothing, guys. They have nothing. Let's look at the supplies. 39 and uh, 38. So that's like... And the altar just went down, so the keeper will, won't come back for a while. Under 80 supply, and the other team has uh, 110 supply. S supply difference of 35, and the hero levels, of course, and the fact that there's no keeper. There's no blade master either. <laughs> blade master will be back in a bit. Let's see. Three, three, one. If he, if they had all the heroes, but the keeper is never coming back. That 33 one heroes against 6-4-3. Yes, the TC is level 6 again. That's right. The Whisper are dying. Now, meanwhile, the Shadow Hunter was also level 1. <laughs> Finally, level 2 creeping over here. Is he, are they going to creep this? Sure. Chaco, you're good at recognizing corpses. I have to, as a commentator, I need to be, uh, I need to know every corpse. Level 3, Shadow Hunter. There's another uh, level 2 healing wave. There's a Blade Master. He's level 3. He has the orb, of course. And, uh, we have an Ankh and a Pendant of Energy here on the Shadow Hunter. See another expansion here, I'm sure. Maybe, with, oh, look at these mass riots. And the keeper will be back soon as well. A town is under siege. But it's gonna be too late, guys. It's gonna be way too late. Way too late. 51 supply for Sweden. 49. I guess 100 supply against 120. Only difference of 20 supply. But now Team Happy has a higher income with three bases. Oh, never mind. It's peons. Okay, the peons start working. Three bases. Three gold mines against two gold mines. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. TC creeping some more. I mean, he's level six, but you know, maybe get a nice item. <laughs> this ogre lord is about to die. He's so dead. Oh, he was about to shockwave, but he died before it. Uh, Warsong battle drums. Ten percent extra damage here. Really nice item. Yeah, really good. Okay, can the Blade Master do something sneaky here, like kill two grunts or something? He's been revealed. Or did he? Oh no, he revealed himself. Kills a. Kills a. Oh, look at this army. It's actually not that small. Are you kidding me? I actually. Now that, I, that, now that you. Now, now that I think about it, I never looked at what the supply actually was here for Serene. We knew that the light was going for the mass riots, but Serene is 63 supply of Wyvern. I was just assuming. I don't know. What was I assuming? I never thought about it. More raiders. He didn't go more raiders. He went for wyvern. So we have wyvern now with dryads. Is it gonna be enough, guys? Is it gonna be enough? The supplies are kind of even now. They managed to spend all the gold that Lolite had saved up. But we have. And uh, what did Cash do? Cash just kept building towers. Well, he built seven towers few towers they didn't expect team lolite to suddenly come out with a fighting army oh this hunters is in trouble look at the map mini map we have blue everywhere the wyvern and the drives are pretty good against the frost worms with three frost worms still gonna be difficult but maybe team lolite can um, magic use magic and win this fight i believe in magic i believe in santa there's another healing wave 
These uh, wyvern, do they have poison? Oh, they do have poison. One Phosphor is dead. But the wyvern are all <laughs> about to die. They took so much damage. Even over here, we have a destroyer here that's uh, about to die as well. And some more wyvern dying. Actually, I'm not sure if this poison, uh, the poison will, will receive this from the wyvern or from the, uh, from the, the other units. From the, the dryads. GG by Lolite. GG by Sawin. What do we have here? We have Cash here in the bottom left. He's going with the DC again. And we have Happy here at the bottom right. He's going a Death Knight with Fiends. It's uh, always the same. Death Knight with Fiends. Here we have Sawin in the top right. He's going TC as well with the Headhunters this game. This is game, uh, the same he was doing in the game we were observing when we were restreaming. Sawin he was doing the same shit. And here we'll see a Priestess of the Moon and Huntresses. Okay, let's see who's gonna win this game. It's gonna be exciting. I remember actually these uh, guys playing before, of course, in other Vitality Cup finals. And uh, back then, I think they won once with it. And they lost once with it. The strategy that Serene and Light are doing, they, uh, you know, once Team Happy hit before they had Berserkers, Team Happy. Got to tier 3, bought the orb, hit immediately, and Sawin didn't have Berserkers yet, so they just lost. And another game, Team Sawin uh, was allowed to stay alive a little bit longer. Team Happy didn't do the timing attack, and because of that, Team Sawin won, and uh, Team Happy lost. So. Okay. Uh. What's the price pool? The price pool is one hundred dollars. We have this TC creeping. It's quite beautiful. We have more peons, more headhunters, more peons. What is this? A keeper? Uh, not the keeper. Adora Nightshade. Oh, she's <laughs> she got blocked by the peon. I think she wanted to block the peon, but the peon blocked her instead. Oh, this peon is is about to commit suicide, but I don't think he can get to the murlocs. The murlocs are too far away, and the peon does die. And brr, brr, it's a raccoon, of course. And the priestess of the moon is gonna do some harassment by herself. She's pretty strong. She shoots arrows. She has a pretty nice bow. She, she's using that bow to shoot some arrows in these grunt bundies, and that's nice. What else do we get? Huntresses. This one is building hunters. This one, he doesn't have the money yet. So no hunters yet. We have chicken, bunch of chicken over there. Oh, and this priestess of the moon has to be careful. There's no stomp. So you should be able to get out, but there's double aura. So these units move so fast. Surround is possible, of course, but it's not. There's no surround. Uh, Murloc's dying. Want of illusion here for the death knight. There's a bunny here as well. And meanwhile, the TC is creeping over here. And the TC level advantage does go to the Sawin, of course. But the Death Knight, already level Blade 2. Actually, the Death Knight and the TC, very similar in XP. And the TC and the Priestess of the Moon, pretty similar in XP. So, so far this game is going even. We see Lolai saying a tier 1. Oh, Cash is, Cash is teching. Interesting choice. Cash is not saying a tier 1, he's teching. We have uh, Serene, of course, stacking. And Happy, of course, stacking. DC creeping. With the Death Knight. <laughs> Boots of Quatalas. Oh, maybe Cash can get a Blade Master second now. With the Boots of Quatalas. Imagine getting that Blade Master second. He's going to be so strong. But I doubt he's going to do that. But I'm just saying, you know, it would be uh, something to think about. Fiend here taking a lot of damage. Beautiful uh, block here with the hunters. She hides in the shadows. This hunter, this fiend is probably going to die. There's no escape. And he dies. <laughs> Death Knight here gives some boots of speed to the TCs. Now super fast. His one hunters took a lot of damage though. The TC is creeping with illusions. He's level 3. Nice stomp here on the creeps. These hat hunters. They're 1 0 upgraded now. Does he uh, use another illusion, maybe? He doesn't want to use it. He's using stomps instead. Oh, that shockwave. Oh, and he kills a headhunter. Because he didn't want to use the second illusion, he lost a headhunter. 
There's a Cloak of Flames here. It is a uh, pretty nice Cloak of Flames on the Stomping def uh, on the stomping TC. Priest of the Moon is creeping a bit. He's getting more Huntresses. There's Illusion Scouts, this expansion, but there's no expansion. This Grunt here, Scouts, uh, oh, this Grunt is trouble. Is, is he dead? Oh no, he lets him out. I think he could have uh, made sure that Grunt was dead, but sure. He gets out. Oh, this TC is so fast and he has level 2 stomp and he sees the TC and he just TPs out. There's no reason to uh, try to fight the TC. This Huntress does die. This other Huntress is still alive. She's hiding. And look at this speed scroll. Level 4 TC against level 3. Oh, the stomp is so beautiful. He needs to stomp here so this hunt, hunt, Head Hunters get out. Oh, and they do get out. This one is dead though. This last one, the gun can kill it there. He's lost two headhunters, or more than two. Not only two. Look, Sonic also minus two. The Priestess of the Moon is level two, and the TC level four. And here we have a level three TC and level three Death Knight. Here levels are ah, kind of similar. He does not like this attack. Is this is what I was talking about, right? If you can attack before there's uh, berserkers, these headhunters are just so useless. They're so bad. They lose to anything. But maybe in this defensive position next to these burrows, they can uh, defend. The birdie sees a lot. Oh, stomp again. These two headhunters. They don't want to die. They have a family. They have children. Okay, they're still alive. Nice stomp there. This grunt is dead. Two burrows, of course, helping. Oh, another beautiful stomp. Hits five head hunters. These head hunters take so much damage. And uh, do we have more stomps? Do we have one more stomp in a moment? And it pause by so we need more lag, of course. This is great. I'm glad you're casting it. Thanks. Scarstone. Okay, look, they're going again. Go, 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 okay. Uh, here come the Hunters' uh, flank attack, but the Hunters just die so fast to the Fiends. This TC has mana, oh, so much mana. He used a mana potion, I think, and he bought another one. So uh, these storms might bring Team Red, Team Lolita, and so on back in the game, but not if the Priestess of the Moon is going to die. Oh, she slips out just barely. And that's beautiful. That is beautiful. This Cloak of Flame is doing a lot of damage. He has mana for more stomps. He can stomp and kill these two grunts, probably. Uh, one is dead. The other one is uh, yeah, also dead. The Hunter dies in return. But we see another Fiend also dying. Team uh, Sawin does defend here. Quite successfully. And now they're going to get the Berserker upgrade. There it is. And then these Berserkers, these Headhunters are going to be so much stronger. The 2-0 upgraded, by the way. We'll see a level 3 Priestess of the Moon in a moment. And... Uh, this is when Team Sawin is going to shine. They're going to shine. Okay, what did we see here for Team Cash here? Why did it go tier 2? Just for a Kodo? Maybe it was just for a Kodo. Also for upgrades. The Grunts are now 01. They will be 0 and 2. Also, he's getting more XP on his TC, of course. He has a solo hero. He's at Stronghold. He gets 15% bonus XP. That's, that's about it. That's why he went to tier 2. I'm not sure if he's ever going to build more out of this bestiary. Maybe a second Kodo after he builds some more grunts. Maybe we'll see a raider. I'm not sure. TC is over here. He's going to build expansion. And he wants level 5. Of course, he gets 30% bonus XP because he has a solo hero. He's a fortress. So that's nice. This TC, I think this is enough for level 5. Yeah, it's enough. Is the priestess already level 3? Not yet, but she's pretty close. We have a Death Knight, he's level 3, the Lich is level 1. TC is only level 4. This is looking great here for Team Serene. Let's look at the supplies. Team Serene and Lolite at 86 supply. Team uh, Happy and Cash at exactly 86 as well. So uh, that's nice. But the hero levels 5 and 3 against 4, 3 and 1. I think 5 and 3 is better. Although it is nice to have an extra hero with the orb now, of course. We do have the orb for happy, so... And the Crypt Lord. Okay. 
the orb and the crypt lord happy also pretty strong here tier three as always and he's getting a uh, disease cloud and abominations here which is going to be interesting because his ally has a lot of grunts is he going to switch it up as well no okay he's getting an attack upgrade these head hunters do they get a third attack upgrade yes he's going for the third attack upgrade look how much damage they do plus 12 and that's without Priestess of the Moon Aura, or is that with the Priestess of the Moon? That's uh, with. <laughs> okay, that's with. The Where is the Priestess of the Moon? Hello. Oh, there she is. So, yeah. Plus 12 damage. That's 37 to 49. And they can uh, use the Berserk ability to attack super fast. And the TC is level 5. He's gonna stomp. This TC is just level 4. His stomps are also powerful, but not quite as powerful as the level 3 stomp. It all depends on these stomps. There's a Skull of the Beast, though, which is super. Now, these grunts do a lot of damage as well, but this stomp. Uh, it's better than this stomp was over there. And these berserkers just killing grunts now. A nice impel while only hit four of these guys. But this stomp is going to be nice. But this TC is not really in the best position to stomp. Uh, but he will be in a moment. There it is. He yeah, had a few units. Berserkers are fine. Who, have the, who has heal scrolls? Does anyone have heal, heal scrolls? No one, I think, has any heal scrolls. Anyway, there's another stomp. And a TP out here for Serene because it's, uh, TC was very low. This TC almost dies. <laughs> are you kidding me? He survived like a sliver of hit points and he TPs out. Happy does retreat. I mean, he could have easily handled uh, with this, but once Serene comes back in, Happy would be in trouble. And I'm not sure, does he have a TP? He does have a TP. I wonder if he could have played a little bit like more aggressively here. Does he have dust? Oh, he doesn't have dust, I see. He, and they don't have any anyone near the laboratory either. He could have at least killed the peons and TP'd out. Isn't that not worth it? Maybe it's not worth it. Happy uh, didn't think it was worth it. We have an expansion going up here. Great hole for cash. This expansion is up. The Berserkers are now 3-0 upgraded. Plus 14 damage, so they do... 40 damage to 56. They attack pretty fast. Disease on all the headhunters. The thing is, disease can be countered with the Berserker uh, regeneration upgrade. In that case, uh, their regeneration is higher than the damage of the disease. Pretty sure, right? It at least counteracts it. I think it's a uh, it's high regeneration, but he doesn't have it. But we don't have uh, last fight. We didn't have abominations yet, right? We have now five abominations, but we have a lot of abominations and a lot of grunts. So this is uh, not that much range damage. Only five fiends. So in a cramped uh, situation. Team Red is easily gonna win because Stomp will hit all the uh, all these units. And cram in a how do you call it? Choke in a choke. But they're uh, they're in a defensive position here. They have this arc, but it seems like uh, Team Serene is still going for it. There's the Stomp. Oh, well, there's Lightning Shield on the TC. What the uh, cloak of flames? Look how much damage it does, man. Oh, uh, Lightning Shield does get this, but does he have another one? Nice impale here on all the berserkers. One, I, we do have a healing scroll now, and he uses here on the shadow hunter. And there's another stomp. Uh, these stomps so. F oh, there's a stomp by the by Cash's TC. And oh, there's a nice, a beautiful impale. Are you kidding me? And TC has to TP out. It does seem like uh, that fight went better for Team Cash and Happy than I ever thought it would be able to. Look at the supplies. Look at the supplies. So we're in the 58. The light 39 or oh, 61 now, so that makes 100 supply against 108. Team Happy is ahead in supply now. The TC is he close to level 5? Actually, you can see here 77%. If he hits level 5, they'll lose that here. Level advantage Shadow Hunter, though. Level 2 here for Sabine. Hmm.
Do, what else do we see? Do we see anything besides mass hat? Okay, we see nothing. Okay, what do we see here? Truth of the Talon for more DPS, more range DPS. Of course, uh, Cyclone is, is tier 3. He's not going for Cyclone. He's just going Druids of the Talon. It's Abomination, suddenly not as powerful anymore. But there's only dru two Druids of the Talon for now. With Fairy Fire, with magic damage, they will go down pretty fast. There's one destroyer that can dispel it. Maybe we'll get more. After he sees the Druids of the Talon. I mean, he has double Slaughterhouse. He can get as many as he wants. There's another one. Oh, there's three Druids of the Talon now. Is he at 50? Uh, Lolite is at 43. 47 now. Building some more. Beautiful. Beautiful. Is he gonna buy some heal scrolls? Shadow Hunter is level 2. TC is so much mana. Potion of greater mana. Potion of mana. Just these stomps are, are so key. Oh, pocket tree of life, guys. Isn't that beautiful? This tree of life going up so fast. It is it is beautiful. A light shadow melted the front line to block the elbows. Oh, that's smart. That's smart. I didn't even see it. We still have one more lightning shield to use for on that TC. These drills of the tail, maybe you should get a depth. Okay, there's a depth. A light at 49, so we need 70. Happy at 80. Cash at 48. So 10 supply lead here for Team Happy. And I don't think Team uh, Serene wants to attack into this position again. We saw how it went last time. Maybe they should set up an arc somewhere. I don't know, maybe here, maybe counter arc. Maybe they're standing here, but I guess it's fine. Because if they come through here, you have this counter arc. If they come through here, you have this counter arc. A counter arc. Oh, this TC is creeping. How did he sneak out? He sneak, he snuck out, he's creeping, easy peasy. He's gonna be level five. This is so bad here for team. Uh, <laughs> this this bad rider scouting for any incoming attacks. Pretty bad here for Zawin, Team Zawin. They should have known his creep camp was still there. They could have crapped it a long time ago. Maybe even try to get more some more XP on the Shadow Hunter, but giving level 5 TC to your uh, opponent. Uh, Chaco, who's gonna win? I don't know at this point. We do have another expansion here for Loliath. So do have a slight advantage now. The light went over 50. Happy went over 80. Cash stays under 50. I bet Cash is buying all the items. And giving them to uh, Happy. Uh... Petrider Scout, where did the TC go? There he is, he's always oh, not level 5 yet. 19 more XP, if, if he can just get a 19 XP somewhere. The first stomp is gonna matter already, like... He's not gonna get level 5 before he stomps. If, uh, if they engage. Because the first thing you do is move your TC in position and stomp. So it would be nice if you have level 5 TC before the first fight. Second storm is going to be level 3. James maybe... Well, he's going to Tree of Eternity, so... We'll see uh, Master Druids of Talon. Of course, Cyclone is going to be nice on the TC. If you can get the Lich as well, but the Lich is a bit far in the back of the, uh, in the fight. He's hard to Cyclone. Fairy Dragons. Happy, is he at 100 supply now? Happy, 96 supply. Cash went over 50, he's at 60 now. Here we have uh, 80 and 70. The 
of the info, uh, I mean, uh, protection scroll here. The Priestess of the Moon. Hunters are 0 0. Berserkers are 3 2, by the way. Some armor upgrades as well. On top of the. Uh, the oh, wait a second! Okay, well, nice stomp. The hex was a bit too late. Uh, info potion used. There's a stomp here by the TC on Sawin. These uh, fairy dragons go, go in the front and use their uh, disco ball ability. Code is all the way in the, on the right side. He should have a Kodo over here because these fiends, they don't get the bonus of the Kodos. A uh, bit of a misplay there by Cash. This, oh, this lightning shield again. And it does get dispelled. This TC uh, gets stomped. Is he gonna kill the TC? He's just perma stunned and he does go down. This is the power of the Shadow Hunter and the TC together. Another stomp. They won't let the team happy retreat just yet. It's called in the back. These units are doing nothing. What the fuck? Uh, the TC is now level 6 for Serene. If he picked Incarnation, he should be fine. Use the Info Potion. Hello, these units. You guys could do stuff. Okay, nice Cyclones there. They get this belt, but it's still nice. We have a Pit Lord by a third, by the way, for the light or second. It did die there. Uh, nice healing wave. It's level 2 healing wave now. But the TC is just stomping. He's stomping. He had so much mana. He used all his mana potions, by the way. And the TC is back up for cash. I'm pretty sure he bought it back at the tavern, but uh, the TC is flying. He does have a TP, so it's not super relevant. You I mean they can force a TP, and that's what. Oh, actually, can he just uh, stomp and kill him? Yeah, of course. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Stomp, right click. He's dead. He's good over Talon. Kill his abomination, and let's look at the supplies right now. 68 and 59, which is uh, 130 or so against uh, about 100 supply for Team Happy and Cash. So, a nice 30 supply advantage or so for Team Suin. Level 6 TC against level 5 TC. Priest is now level 5. Level 3 True Shot Aura is gonna add even more damage to these Berserkers. They do uh, plus 17 damage, so that is. 30, 30, 43 to 59. Nice stomp. Look how much it hit. That was a beautiful stomp. But he's flying now. And one Kodo went down. This other Kodo is important. If he can, if they can kill this Kodo, maybe they can make this comeback. Uh, this, oh, what? These stomps are so nice, man. This level 5 TC. I and mean, they do kill the Kodo indeed. All these units are pretty uh, low hit point units. So maybe with some nice stomps and impels and Novas. No, the TC went down. TC for cash went down. And uh, there is the Berserk ability used, but there's no mana for Nova. It wasn't a mana for Impil, but just barely, so he was uh, he didn't notice that he had a mana for an Impil there. And here he uses Impil, only hits a few units, only like seven units. There's a holy uh, healing healing wave. His expansion is going down, and now it's four bases against two bases. Is that the Death Knight? No, there's a TC, he's back. Pit Lord is flying. And he is dead, guys. We have no mana for stomp, but we have an ensnare. This abomination is next. TC went flying just before he stomped. Okay, now he stomps. And there's a Nova. Oh no, uh, Frost Armor on the TC. Is the TC uh, Death Knight is going to be back here in a moment. But it's going to be difficult, even with the Death Knight back, to do anything. They nuked the TC, but he will be back. And he'll, he will be back stronger than before. He will be back stronger, more powerful. Look at this. 375 mana. That's so powerful. Now are they gonna retreat? Yeah, he does TP out. Doesn't want to lose any units while retreating. And easy retreat here. Well, let's look at the supplies for more one more moment. We have uh, 27 and 55 for Team Happy, so that's like 70, 80, 82. 82 against uh, a lot. <laughs> I cannot add these two big numbers together. It's too much. It's uh, 138 actually. I can do it if I just try. 138. It's uh, almost double the supply. I'm happy it's going for this uh, Ancient of Life. Also known as the Tree of Life. Is this Serene or is this... Uh, yeah, it's Serene. And it's... Goliath. Uh. These Berserkers, by the way, they do have the half regeneration upgrade. Look at that. 
The health regeneration is higher than the disease cloud, or is it exactly the same? Five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six. I guess it's exactly the same. Look at this. Five, six, five, six, five, six, 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 seven, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six. Okay, so the disease cloud does exactly as much damage as uh, regeneration gives you. So it's like one damage a second. That's what the health regeneration upgrade does. So beautiful. So interesting that we can see this uh, in this game. Oh, nice pause there by Serene. Please just use fight supply. No. I, I forget to look at these supplies. 100 and... Um, 114 against 69. Go, 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 go. Oh, these hunters are pretty low, by the way. I mean, they, once they get sick, they don't get... Uh, they don't have a regeneration. Have so many healing scrolls here. There's a stomp. It's all these units. There's a stomp. It's all these units. And, you know, the Death Knight is flying. There's a nice, in one, a kind of bad impill. I, I would expect a better impill at this point. The Clipper does die. Death Knight is flying. He wasn't able to coil him. The TC, nice storm there, but, you know, it's going to be too little, too late. GG. Why did Lolite and Serene win? Uh, because of the regeneration of the, on the tools. Uh, no, they had a good position, really. They uh, positioned themselves at the center of the map. That was one thing. Also, maybe their strategy is just better. Uh, late game, their strategy might be better. I'm not sure if it is or not. We'll have to see more games. But they definitely had a good position there in the center of the map. That w every time we saw someone defend that that game, the defender won. Are under so let's see if we see the same this game. He was regenerating just slowly. Yeah, well, but it was very slow. It was no not the difference of 1.5 against 1.0. Uh, Maybe 1.05 against 1.0. So, we have the TC here for Serene again. We see um, Priest of the Moon here for the Light. So, they're playing the same strategy. Death Knight for Happy. And a Blade Master this game, though. And a healing, healing Fountain here in the center. <laughs> Blade Master kills a, a Null. There's no stomp yet. He's just right clicking this uh, TC, but the uh, headhunters. They are also very easy to pick off. The Blade Master starts by trying to kill one of them. TC just realizes he has to fight. He has to fight against the Blade Master. But how can you fight against the Blade Master? The birdie is helping. He sees the Blade Master, but the TC is in trouble. Speed score used by the Blade Master. Windwalk. This TC is so dead, guys. Can he uh what can he do? By speed score himself. And that's what he does! He buys the speed score himself just in time. He was so close to dying there. He was so close. And uh, what is this? A grunt. Okay. And the priestess of the moon walks past the healing fountain. She drinks a bit of it. And uh, look, she's healing. So grunt, he should be careful. He could be surrounded. There's no endurance aura on the grunt. And there is endurance aura on the headhunter. So they move faster now than the grunt. Uh, this birdie just keeps tap on the blade master. Oh, but here's uh, Happy with some skeletons and some fiends. That hunters are just so weak early game. It does have a lot of them though. This one is going to his allies base. Skeletons so strong against hat hunters. So I'll be micro back. We don't have stomp yet, so it's TC. Not super powerful just yet. Nice coil there. There's one more coil. This headhunter, he doesn't want to die. He could have blocked here with this headhunter, but he didn't go for it. And he is going to die. And there's two more low hit point headhunters here. Blade Master finds them. He's right clicking them. The Priest of the Moon here in the in the center, running away from Happy. Blade Master, did he get another one? No, the headhunter's beautiful. Michael here. All the way in the back. Uh, they're safe. The Blade Master does have a boost of speed, by the way. And these, this hunter is here. Right clicking the fiend. Let me just check if everyone's stacking. We have 
both. Cash and Happy are attacking. The Light, of course, is not attacking. He's just massing Huntresses. And um, Serene is attacking. And he did it so well, losing so few Headhunters early game. Oh, the Fiend gets the coil there just in time. Hunters is going for the surround on the Death Knight, but they can't get it. What's this? A Blade Master trying to kill Priestess of the Moon. Not something you see every day. She hides in shadows. Oh, but there's dust. But she can uh, run into the forest. Tree, the Ancient Award Forest. Drink some more moon juice. Okay, who wins this fight? Priestess of the Moon and... <laughs> he was detonating to try to surround the Blade Master, but he, he gets out. I don't, uh, TC creeping the center. He's finally level 2. We finally have Stomp. These grunts, they should be super duper careful. If they get stomped, they're just dead. Blade Master is going to show up in a moment. Can he steal the item? I, maybe not. Okay, puts off quite the last. Imagine if the Blade Master stole it. He would be so strong. But instead, the TC gets it. Uh, he's probably going to give it to the Priestess of the Moon. She's actually an agility hero. Of course, no one knows it. No one even knows what this hero is. This is a Priestess of the Moon. You've probably seen her in the campaign. Well, she's now being played in this game. This, uh... This grunt here is almost dead. Well, he's still alive, but next attack, there's TP out here for cash. He, uh, he's still alive. But, uh, this attack... What's Happy gonna do? He's gonna TP. The TC is level 2, almost level 3. He did give the boost of quarter last to the Dark Ranger, uh, to the... Priestess of the Moon there. Hmm. A lot of headhunters. Nice Nova here on these uh, huntresses. See, he, uh, he's going to Fortress. Nice stomp there on some of the ghouls. Uh, bestiary is, is... Are they going to kill the bestiary? That would be pretty nice. Yes, they killed the bestiary. So the Kodo is going to be later. The Instair is going to be later. There's a nice stomp. The DC might... Uh, well, there's the TP out. And the huntresses, they can just run away. Maybe he's going to lose one. Trying to retreat. There's a hex. No, there's no hex, I think. He went healing wave first, so no hex. There's a coil, kills one hunters. But the priestess of the moon, she, she's riding a tiger. And the uh, huntresses, they ride panthers. Oh, what is this? Birdie. Uh, yeah. Doesn't need, don't need the second voodoo launch. Do need the second bestiary or first bestiary. There's a grunt, there's spirit, walkers. TC is level 3 now. Oh, that's super insane. He's getting that Kodo. He's getting those attack upgrades. He's almost at uh, tier 3 and we'll get those Berserkers. They're almost 2-0 here in a moment. They're gonna be 2-0. There it is. 2-0. You are over here. These, hat uh, these Huntresses. This is quite popular. Knight of Mirror. I, I know. <laughs> I was just... I went tro I'm trolling, of course. Shadowhunter gets Stormbolt in the face. We'll see her sometimes. The Priestess of the Moon. She's not completely... Unused this uh Huntress does go down this Huntress. She runs. She's gone to the center, of course, the healing fountain. This Huntress as well. She's also gonna survive. So if you don't kill something, it's like you know, it's like you never damaged it at all. Is that a surround on this grunt? It's not surround. And here comes a flank attack. Does he have a TP? He doesn't have a TP, this is pretty bad. What's he going to do? He could have uh, windwalked and tried to buy a TP. Instead, he is uh what is he doing? He's losing so many units here. His, his grunts are all dead. This guy survives. Well, the grunts... Yeah, they're dying. I'm not sure. That was uh, pretty bad for, by Cash. Forces are under attack. No, the grunts are still alive, but the TC is just hunting down grunts. He's like a T... This is the opposite of the early game. Early game, we had the uh, Blade Master hunting now down headhunters. Now it's a TC hunting down grunts. Meanwhile, over here, we have the... Hunters is just again killing that bestiary. This is so huge. And snares is never, never going to be done. Kodos are never going to be done. Kodos are so important in 2v2. By the way, where's the Kodo upgrade? There it is. We have Berserkers now. And we have the Kodo upgrade. And they do plus 3 damage now with the Kodo upgrade. Plus 6. Then with uh, the Aura, it's going to be plus 9. And uh, that's going to be quite a few damage. Quite a bit of damage. What is Happy doing in the meantime? He has a level 3 Death Knight, level 1 Lich. He protected his allies' base. Uh, okay, didn't go down actually, the bestiary, thanks to Happy. Well, Hunters did go down. I was hiding here. This grunt is pretty dead. Or is it? 
Nice surrounded by Loliath. Kepa. DC is level 4. So level 2 endurance aura means uh, everyone attacks 10% faster. Does have the level 2 Kodo now. Okay, well now Loliath in a bit of trouble. He does have a DP. He actually can get away. There's one in snare. He TPs out. The town is under siege. Of course, this TC has a TP. Do we see two TPs in? No, just one. Okay, let's see if they fight. This has to took a lot of damage. The TC is silenced. The Kodo wants to eat. He's so hungry. He hasn't eaten anything all day. There's a stop. He don't want to lose the Kodo. The Kodo is being focused. And uh, it's time to TP, I think. There it is. TP out. Maybe focus this grunt or something. Okay, I had to. Uh, Fiend is fine as well. Run! Berserker! Okay, he doesn't run. He's just walking. Berserkers, they can actually run, you know, with the Berserker ability. But he's not running. I think he should Players probably still be running. The light, he wants to creep to level 3. 700 is level 1. We have expansion over here for Serene, by the way. Uh, he's getting a raider. Did he not lose his... He lost his Kodo. Uh, he wants a Kodo. Does he not want a Kodo? Are they going to play base race? Maybe they're going to play base race. Because they have this expansion. Although Headhunters aren't great at base race. They can, they're can. they great against the Orc base. Not against the Undead base. The thing is... Uh, the Kodo is super slow. So you don't... You cannot really base race with him. The light here going for the main. Is there a TP? And who's gonna TP? Happy TP's out uh, in. Priestess, she's just hiding and TPing out. There's dust, one hunter dies. Two hunters die. TZ, just creeping. Blade Master, what did he get? Potion of Restoration. Meh. He's level 3 now. Shadow Hunter, level 2.6. He did scout this base. There's nothing there. But where did he TP to? Did he TP Players to this base? He must have if it's over here. <laughs> Tome of intelligence. Does he pick it up? He picks it up. Wow. Surprise. You over here. This TC is just creeping. He wants level 5. But he has an item. Oh, Shadow Hunter is here as well, of course. So won't get level 5 that easily if he shares XP with Shadow Hunter. He also gets a scroll, uh, potion of restoration. Much better here for the TC than this for uh, the Blade Master. He has too many items. What is he gonna trade here? Or is he not gonna trade anything? Leave it on the Shadow Hunter for now until he uses some items here on the TC. Like the Wand of Mana Stealing. Uh, this Kodo here is. How did he get trapped? The Kodo uh, gets trapped and killed here and a TP out here by uh, by Cash because we have the uh, Serene joining in. Well, uh, Happy was creeping this creep camp. A rock Column. That's a good one. Uh, with supplies. Oh, I cannot look at the supplies. I just now realized there's no observer board. <laughs> I wanted to click it and I'm like, hey, where is it? <laughs> Happy is 58 supply. And uh, cash at 50, so 108 supply, the light at 47, and Serene at 69, so very similar supplies. But these Berserkers are doing now a lot of damage. Where's the Kodo? There's no Kodo though. So they only do plus 7 damage. It could have, uh, would have been plus 14 if he had the Kodo. But he doesn't have the Kodo, but they have the expansion. The Stomps, by the way, are beautiful. There goes the Spirit Walker. The birdie sees everything. Uh, do we see? Oh, level th 5 TC now. I think there was still a level 2 stomp, but the next stomp is going to be... Oh, he, he did give the potion of restoration to the DC. He uses it just for the mana and a little bit of health. But, uh, you know, the stomp is going to be so powerful. Oh, we have a rock alum, and he, he's gone. There's a stomp. The blade master got stomped. And he has a potion of greater... Uh, potion of whatever is called restoration. But he was not able to use it. And there's a TC out with uh, two abominations with the flank attack. The berserkers, again, they do have the... Uh, Oh, they don't have the regeneration, I think, because they're dying, right? Slowly dying. Two. One. But they're not dying super fast. Do they have naturally higher regeneration than other units? 0 
Is that high for normal units? I have no idea. There are no more berserkers. I'm trying to compare to units that are not berserkers. Zero, seven, okay, no, never mind. This is normal, normal rate, normal regeneration rate. Okay, well, let's see. So happy is uh, cash at 30 supply, happy at 55. So there's 85 supply. We have Serena at 70, and his ally 44. So 114 supply, and we finally see tier two here for uh, Loliath going for Ancient of Lores. Hunters is over here. Are they gonna force a TP? Does he have a TP? He does have a TP. Another expansion, second expansion going up here for Team Loliath. It's looking, uh, it's looking, uh, it's looking pretty one-sided at this point. Level three Shadow Hunter. Hunters is here on the left side. They get nuked a little bit. They're gonna die a little bit, but it seems like Team Sawin. It seems like Sawin can win this game by himself at this point. Raider gets uh, coiled. TST gets silenced, but the Shadow Hunter is still level three. The T uh, Death Knight TP's out. This guy is he gonna survive? He survives. Abomination survives. And the light here with this expansion is up. Was it also a pocket expansion? It probably was, wasn't it? I'm not sure, but... Riots makes a lot of sense. Okay, this game he goes dry. His last game he went Druids of the Talon, by the way. Moonwalk got cancelled. In three or four ages defending himself. Are they gonna TP or counterattack? It seems like... I'm just gonna counterattack. I mean, if they trade a base, even though it's a main base against a main base, it's so good here for Team Lolite. Although, what do we see? Okay, Lolite is defending. Oh, but Cash TP'd out as well, and there. Okay, then Happy has to TP out as well. Because it's two against one, and... Oh, the Death Knight, is he going to die? Oh my god, he dies. Berserkers are doing so much damage if they're, uh, you know, berserked and doing lots of damages. GG. He is getting the same strategy. He's doing the same stuff. He's going for TC Headhunters again. We see the War Mill. And uh, his ally is going for the Priest of the Moon again. I the question is, is he getting those Centaurs? With the Priest of the Moon, I don't think so. This uh, The Centaurs is more with the Keeper of the Growth. The Priest of the Moon just doesn't, you know, she doesn't have Entangle. The Aura doesn't work on the Centaurs, the melee. It's just not nice synergy. Here on the other side, we have a TC as well for Cash. But he's going Grunts, of course. And we have the Death Knight for Happy. The counter is going Necromancers. There's no Dispel. There you have it. That's the counter. Necromancers. Let's see if Happy is going Necromancers this game. The Priestess of the Moon is out. She's going to do some harassment. We have a Whisper. It sees the TC. We have another TC Mirror. How much for the winning team? I think it's $100. Wait, is this spawn usual? Yes. You can either spawn uh, left, you know, this and this base against this and this, this base. Or you can spawn, you know, left and top against bottom and right. Both are possible. What's not possible, though, is to have one team on, like, Player the left and the right side attack. and the other team at the bottom and the top. That's not possible. Well, the TC is beautiful. Night Elf always has wisps. <laughs> okay, the TC with the headhunters, of course, creeping. Priestess of the Moon, she's just uh, hopping around. Make sure the TC is not creeping here. Tor Rune Totem against Cam Ghost here, also known as Cammy. Death Knight Baron Pirinolde against the Priestess of the Moon, Dallas Moonfang. It's nighttime, guys. So we're creeping some more. He already has a Mantle of Intelligence. That's nice. Okay, Death Knight and the TC creeping a bit over here. What does he pick up? A Ring of Protection plus two. Okay. Priestess of the Moon just shooting her arrows. Of course, uh, double A. Double Ancient Wars up. She's getting some Huntresses. 
Definitely blocking the priestess here. Do we see attack here for cash? No, double barracks, mass grunts. Oh, and happy staying there one as well. He's probably feeding. He's probably feeding cash to build more grunts. Grunts and fiends and every everything is gonna kill these headhunters. This is the perfect counter strategy here by team cash and happy. The perfect counter strategy against these headhunters is to just go mass tier one, all in at tier one. And kill him before he gets the berserkers, before he gets the kodo. Before he gets all that insane bullshit. But, was it scouted already? Pretty sure they scouted it. So what is Team Lolai doing against it? Maybe towers? Maybe defensive towers? They already have a war mill. Doesn't seem they're changing anything in their plan. They're just continuing to play this way. Maybe they know they can win this game because people on ladder do this against them. There goes, uh, I'm not sure if they practice this actually on ladder or anywhere. Uh, the shop went down. The TC is level 3 now though. Meow! I read the, the meow after the stream. Or after, not after the stream. After the game. After the finals. Some uh, detonates there. Detonating. The wisp detonating. Two detonates. The town is under siege. The town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, well, these headhunters here. Nice stomp. His three of these uh, headhunters. It takes so much damage now. There's no micro. Okay, there's a counter stomp. That's a level 2 stomp. That's a real stomp. Toward Rune Totem. He's only 3 hunters. He's, uh, he's getting in some more wisps. Is uh, hunter still alive? Well, this is uh, such a powerful attack here by uh, Cash and Happy. Still a Still don't think they're they're attacking. They're just massing in a mass tier one attack. So many units, so many grunts, so many uh, means this stone wasn't the greatest. This stone was much better, even though it's a level lower. It hit all the berserkers. Berserkers are running, but the speed's cool. They don't want to. Oh, TC is surrounded. He can hide. He is hiding. He's like a real uh, archer. This is a girly TC here for. Uh, I mean, it's Kemi. It's Kami for a reason. Maybe it's just a girl TC. She was a girl from the start. Just real fast. We, oh, Happy did tag to tier 2. Shadowhunter is being built. Uh, this Headhunter is dead though. This Headhunter. He's down to 5 Headhunters only. We have more grunts than the Headhunters now. There's another stomp. And the Death Knight is just over here. So the grunts walk even faster with that Unholy Aura. While well, the Fiends are killing this altar. Shadowhunter is going to be born in a moment. Oh, one Fiend did go down. To the, uh, to the huntresses and are they gonna are they gonna team up are they gonna team up it looks like team Sawin and Lolai I mean team Sawin uh, Sawin is gonna team up with Lolai and make one super powerful army that's what they do here huntresses and headhunters against this uh, team of happy which has uh, fiends and grunts okay but they do retreat there's another stomp he used a mana potion and he has mo one more stomp available and the headhunters though, they're so low in numbers, they're so weak, so spaghetti. This is time for the real spaghetti, because that's what they're throwing. They're throwing spaghetti at the grunts, at the, at the ghouls. There's even a ghoul here now. There goes a headhunter. What, what's the ghoul doing here? Okay, he sends a ghoul home. Was that a mistake or something? Did he just send in? Okay, maybe he just tanked a little bit of damage and now he's like, okay, now go home. There goes the barracks. This headhunter are kind of stuck here between the barracks and some trees. And now between some grunts and some trees. And that means he dies. Level 3 death knight. The altar was uh, killed earlier, but it's going to be killed again. TC is just uh, manaing up in the background. It's looking pretty bad here for team uh, Cash. Not Cash. Looking bad for team Serene and Lolite. Looking good for Cash. Is this the final game? Yes, it's the a, it's a final game. It's the best of five. There's two and two. In map score, so this is the fifth game. Stomp! Oh, the stomp was too late. He's surrounded. He will have to TP. He will have to TP or die. Sure, that's fine as well. Coil Nova stomp. He's dead. And uh, lightning. He doesn't have an altar. Remember, lightning shield on the fiend. I mean, that's not gonna do much. But uh, yeah, I mean, the fiend now do, using the lightning shield against the headhunters. What nice play here by Happy. One one lightning shield of the fiend against six headhunters. Of course, uh, Fiend wins. His grunts are going down, though. 
Oh, oh, and now the main is going down. Do we have pillage? I assume so. Cash. Does he get a lot of cash? Yes, he, he's getting so much cash. Of course he has pillage. Meanwhile, some uh, hunters will show up, but what can he do? There's no TC to stomp the fiends. The hunters will go down so fast. TC is back from the tavern. And there is Lion Shield and TC. Much smarter. Uh, stomp, but the problem is there's too much DPS here for Team uh, Happy. TC has to TP out. He lost so much. So much. The main is back to full hit points, but that just means that the Grunts will get more pillaging done. They'll get even more money. This Grunt is sent to the healing fountain, maybe, or I'm not sure where. Another Grunt around. Lolai just keeps surrounding incoming Grunts, but it's not enough. It's not enough. <laughs> not enough to come back in this game like look let's look at the supplies 100 supply against 70 because uh Swin is at 21 supply and that's mostly peons if you look at the army supply that someone mentioned early here it's uh, 78 supply against 40. so it's double the supply there goes the hunters Nice stomp here. Hits all the headhunters. They are going to die pretty fast. And there's a counter stomp. Okay, he hit all the grunts, which is nice. The headhunters are still alive thanks to that counter stomp, but actually they're not alive for long. The TC here is being nuked. The headhunters are left alive. TC uh, deep is out. Can someone kill these headhunters, please? Okay, they do die. This one, oh, one survives. What a lucky headhunter. Maybe you should just leave this map and uh, go somewhere else because this war is totally lost. I don't see a way uh, for Team Low Light and so Win to come back. It's there's no way. Is there a way? There's no way, right? They're almost half supply now. Because so Win 70 supply. If we look at the army supply, there they are at half supply, less than half the supply. Going for a counterattack with huntresses. Remember, Low Light is just a tier one. It's not like he can do some nice mass chimeras counter back or some uh, counterattack or something or bears or anything he's just it's just over gg so when gg's out cash gives them a gg back lolai gg's gg team happy and cash win one more time in the finals winning the uh, vitalis cup seven hundred dollars split up between them it was beautiful